Uh, hey everyone, here we are. Cooch met the personal side on a fine, I don't even know, I think Saturday, Saturday night. The Knights of Fatherhood. And that would be N-I-G-H-T as opposed to K-N-I-G-H-T. The Knights of Fatherhood hanging at home with Mi Familia. Mi Familia, Miss Amelia. It's pretty good stuff. So anywho, um, if you've been following, you'll notice that I did not get a video on last night. Um, Amelia fell asleep around 8 o'clock and we lay down and it was lights out. So normally she wakes up. She slept four hours all the way through till midnight. And that is my reason. You could call it an excuse, but that is my reason for the, um, for the missed day there. So today... Um, is like what is it this is the three-year anniversary of when I had completed the Leadville 100 100 mile trail run up in uh, Leadville Colorado so it's been a great day um, Jen and I have been following the race today uh, we have some friend out there doing it man I'll tell you it was really interesting I was talking in practice the other day about you know athletics and, and sport and running in particular about like the values, the health benefits and not so much benefits of, of running and how much is too much. And it came, there was a gentleman at practice who was doing a marathon in every state. And this is his second time doing it. And we're talking about, you know, how that is very taxing on the body. And I was saying that the same with like a hundred miler, you know, when I did the hundred mile miler, as I said, I could list, I could list a dozen reasons that you shouldn't do it, that it's unhealthy as far as, um, the taxing on the body and the joints and the time and the pain and the dedication and how it really physically breaks your body down to a point that when I finished the race I, w I was literally urinating blood I had broken so much muscle down completing this race so I could easily list all these reasons why you shouldn't do it on the flip side I could not put into words or I cannot I'm not capable of putting into words what happens when you finish that race or what happened for me when I finished that race I can't describe it all I can say it was a change so it was interesting because although I could tell you a dozen reasons why you shouldn't do it a dozen facts about how bad it is for your body and I can't tell you how it feels to complete it I can just tell you that it changes you despite those two things if it's on your, your list of possibilities I would highly push you to do it I think there are a few things in life that can really truly change you so two years ago Jen and I went out to do the Leadville again her first time and we weren't able to complete it um, the stress fracture issue in Jen's leg we made it 40 miles in the mountains with the stress fracture it's a pretty solid feet she has amazing pain tolerance then we talked to the founder of the race the next year and he had a really interesting perspective when he said imagine a life without failure he goes think of how boring that would be if you succeeded at everything he's like failure is a gift but he's like and he just looked at it. he goes are you going to come back and do it again and she said absolutely i'll come back and he said and there's a success it was really it was really an awesome thing it was like a great movement like who looks at that and says like who thought about that it was just you know he has done the race 14 times i think he hasn't completed it himself as the founder more than a few times but it was just an, an amazing thought to say imagine life without failure and how boring it would be that should be a thought of the day but anywho here we are today we're catching watching results of the race tracking the race uh, super fun and exciting I know it seems weird but it is fun and exciting and talking of course of, of when Jen's gonna go out and finish her goal and complete it so in the future we will make the return to the Leadville 100. So there you have it. And thanks for watching, gang. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.